I'm the chair of Go on UK. It's a charity that I set up last year, bringing together the corporate sector, the charitable sector, uh, and the public sector to really try and address the issue of digital skills in the UK. There are still 16 million adults who can't do a basic set of things online. Four million of those are in work and one million are unemployed. So it's a, it's a big deal for the economy. And we did some work to show that there is a potential uh, 18 billion of value to the UK economy if small and medium-sized businesses geared up their use of the internet and were able to do the set of things that what we would classify as a kind of good digital user can do. So Go on UK is trying to bring together different partnerships to address the problem and we're doing it in an area by area approach. We're going to the northeast at the end of this year, bringing all of our partners and local partners together, doing a concerted bit of activity to really try and make sure that particular bit of the country is super connected. 70% of SMEs use technology well, but 30% don't. And we've worked out that if they were to just be able to sell stuff online, buy stuff online, there'd be a huge, dis huge advantage for them in their daily business. I think if you're a butcher's shop, you might not realise that buying your products on the internet for your tools or for your marketing material might save you money. It might just seem far away from the concerns of your daily business. But I would argue that every business now needs to think about digital culture. This is a country that's thinking about the internet, the heart of lots of the design of its products and services, and we need to help move the SMEs on too. We're in 2013, not 1813. We have to move the country on or we won't be competitive across uh, the world and in uh, what we do and how we deliver our services. So it isn't to me an either or. If we stand still, we're not going to have a whole load more jobs. If we stand still, there are going to be no jobs. There's also quite a lot of interesting work both by McKinsey and BCG and others to show that actually, although you do lose jobs from the digital economy, more are created. And we just have to skill people up to be able to take advantage of those jobs. So that I'm, I'm optimistic. You know, I think the economy moves on. Of course, uh, you might have to get different skills. Of course, some things will become redundant. But macro level, we have to make sure that the UK is able to compete with other countries. We know that children who have technology at home do 25% better in their exams, and actually that's an old number, it's probably got a lot more dramatic now. Um, I think that we need to make sure that we are embedding digital thinking across all of the education system, that we're giving kids the opportunity to learn in an interactive, baked way where they really are taking advantage of some of the staggering improvements in technology. You know, if you're a teacher with many children in a class and you don't even have computers in that classroom, then you are going to be at a serious disadvantage, especially if you were to compare us with countries where they put that at the heart of their education system. I'm less militant about what we should be teaching kids. You know, I think coding, teaching kids coding is fantastic, and if it opens up their eyes to a different set of things, then brilliant. But I don't think that's what will mean we create a brilliant digital econ economy in the future. I think we need to have a robust sense of uh, digital um, tools, and we've got to teach children about all kinds of aspects of the digital world, not just focus on one small bit of it. We're not a, del a delivery organisation, we're a small team of eight people. What we do is work through our partners and encourage them to make big, bold commitments to help get people the digital skills they need. So we have on our board the CEOs of the BBC, EE, Talk Talk, Big Lottery Fund, we've got uh, the post office and we've got others. So we hope that by working with them and influencing their teams, the work that they do in their communities with their workforce will spread out, trickle beyond um, just... Uh, the people that we know are already online. So we're working through our partners, but we're also working in local areas, and that's where we can bring our partners together to try and create change on the ground that perhaps wouldn't have happened before.